Okay, so this is my second take. I did bring the Holy Fable with me, but I am, I'm starting to know what the hell a rain cloud feels like. I am literally just sitting here dripping. So I'm going to cover this without showing that where it's at in the Bible. Um, but I will give you the verses because I'm just sitting here raining. So essentially what this video is about is debunking fundamentalists like Mike and Ken Ham that take the Bible literally to be 6,000 years old. Um, I'm going to run through this quickly. I'm out here. I'm melting. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to use the Bible to debunk the actual... Um, use the Bible to debunk itself, at least for people who take it literal. So, I was going to use 2 Peter 3, 8. First day, for God is a thousand years for uh, mankind. Okay, uh, and use that as a measurement of God's time to our time. Because if this is true, let's take another look at the Genesis story. So, and I'm being extra lenient here. I am just dripping all over the place. <sighs> um, if this is true, let's take another look at the Genesis story. So, by the third day, let's see here. By the third day, of Genesis 1, 9 through 10, God creates earth. So that's the first official thousand years of actual earth, right? We're going to be lenient. Fourth day, Genesis 1, 15 through 16, created sun, moon, and stars. That's another thousand years. Fifth day, Genesis 1, 21, created wildlife. That's another thousand years. Um, so that's Genesis 1 through 20, uh, 26 is the sixth day. God creates Adam and Eve. So Genesis five point or chapter five um sentence five i forgot how to, uh adam died at 930 years old so by god's time adam died 70 years before he technically before god quote rested uh seventh day god rests so at that point if we're being extremely lenient it's already been four thousand years has already passed so so far being lenient as possible, yeah, 4,000 years by this time God has rested. By that math alone, Mike and Ken Ham are already off. Uh, days 1 through 3, how is God determining time with nothing compared to? Um, and I have you on a separate note, ages of people. So, and this is something I actually asked my friend about. I'm like, didn't they do math a little bit differently in history? Like, not just Bible times. I mean, like, legitimately, they used to use, like, clock-like by 60s. I remember something vaguely with Egyptians doing that. So, what my friend came up with was that they were using lunar time. And I'm, I'll have to find the exact where that states this. But I, I take my friend for her work, because the math adds up. Um, that the lunar... It would be like divided, if you take their ages and divide it by 12, right? Um, so what math did they do to determine age? He said, she said, lunar calendar, nine, so you take Adam's age is 930 and divide it by 12, which is how they would, you know, do this. It would add up to 77.5. So that would be reasonable number however if we used a lunar calendar adam died at 77 and a half years old roughly that would make um that would make the ages make sense however if we use the ages of the people by that math adding up the ages humans would um adding up the ages of humans in this sense would be stupid even by the fundamentalists I got sweat over here, but if you look at the math, if you do 6,000, which is roughly what they're guessing, and divide that by 12, we'd only be here for 500 years. And clearly that's wrong. So my understanding is that people come up with these 6,000 by adding up the ages of uh, humans by this recalculated math. Uh, Bible standards is roughly over 500. Okay, I just said that. Eventually, or even they know that's BS. So, thankfully, most Christians these days don't take the Bible that literal. However, that's another can of worms for another day. On if they don't, then how do they, what's a parable and what's not? So, 
I am literally out here sweating bullets. I know what a cloud feels like. This was supposed to be a 10 minute video and I crammed it into five because I am dripping all over the, the book I was supposed to show you. But um, yeah, I got out, touched some grass, leaves, there you go. And um, no snapping turtles like cool Uncle Jesus, but there's some nature for you. I'm going to hike back and go hide in the air conditioner. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it.